Hello everyone and welcome back to Chess with Eminem. Today I brought to you so exciting game played in 2013 between the world champion Viswanathan Anand and one of the most, uh, I mean one of the top 10 players on the world, Levan Aronia. Now before I start this video, this game is so exciting and so beautiful game and it's one of the most memorable games for Anand. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Uh, Aronian with the white pieces and Anand with the black pieces. Aronian opened this game by d4. Queen's pawn opening. d5 played by, Aron by Anand. c4 and now c6. The slav defense. And uh, this defense is one of the most favorite defenses for Anand. Okay. Knight to f3 played by Aronian. Knight to f6. Knight to c3. And now e6. Developing the pieces. Uh, e3 opening the way for the bishop. Knight b to d7 and now bishop to d3 and here comes the idea from the staff defense now the idea here uh, when the white moves this bishop uh, into the e2 or into the d3 then the black here will capture the capture on c4 okay forcing this bishop to move uh, twice and after bishop capture on c4 the black here will play b5 with tempo on this bishop now the, the white will move his bishop back and the black's idea here will be pu pushing a a6 uh, and then playing bishop to b7 and then pushing c5 opening the file for his light squares bishop okay our another idea is playing bishop to d3 and then castling uh, bishop to d6 sorry and then castling bringing the rook or the queen into the e file and then pushing e5 okay so after bishop back to d3 bishop to d6 played by aronian uh, by anand sorry here aronian castled anand also castled and now queen to c2 played by aronian with a pressure on the a7 square Bishop to b7, as we said, the, the white here, uh, sorry, the black will push a6 because after c5, now the pawn on the b5 will be uh, a weak. So a6 supporting the b5 square and then c5 comes. And now rook to c8 played by, Aron by Anand. Now the idea is developing the rook on the queen's diagonal. And here Aronian played knight to g4, knight to g5, sorry. Now knight to g5 attacking the pawn on the a7 square uh, treble, okay? Now the best move here for the black is playing bishop capture on h2. Now here uh, Anand push c5, okay? But the best move for the black here is playing bishop capture on h2. And after king capture, then playing knight to g4, check, okay? And after king back to g1, then uh, queen capture on g5 comes. Queen capture on g5, uh, uh, the black by this will take back his uh, piece. And now the white will play bishop uh, capture on h7, check because the white here has to take back his pawn also and after king to h8 here the engine says that this position is equal position and uh, I mean it's, yeah it's equal position but so for this reason here Anand didn't play bishop to capture on h2 because he don't want to play uh, for a draw he want to play for win and Anand here pushed c5 okay and Aronian accepted that pawn on the h7 and he captured knight capture on h7 and here after knight capture on h7 the action starts here, after knight capture on h7, Anand played knight to g4. Now the idea here by knight to g4 is, if you play something like knight capture on f8, then uh, bishop capture on h2 will be deadly. Uh, king to h1 only move, and now queen to g, to queen to h4. Now the idea by queen to h4, now I want to play bishop to g3, queen to h2, checkmate. I mean, uh, bishop to g3 after king, uh, after king to g1 only move, um, queen to h2 will be a checkmate. How will prevent this? There is no way to prevent the, this threat. So for this reason here, where here, after knight to g4, Aronian pushed f4. Okay, f4 preventing bishop capture on h2. Now I want to capture your rook. Anand said, okay, it's not a problem. Capture it. Pawn capture on d4 played by Aronian. And now uh, here Aronian captured uh, on the d4. I think he didn't capture on the uh, f8. I mean, capturing on the f8 was possible, but for a reason I, I don't know, he didn't capture on that square. I mean, if d capture on c3, then simply you can capture that knight, and if capture here, then you can capture, and then after uh, after bishop capture, I mean, the black here will up an exchange and also up a pawn. But for a reason I don't know, Aronian uh, didn't capture the, uh, the rook, and he captured the pawn on the d4, e capture on d4. And here comes the brilliant move of this game. Here pause the video. I want you to pause the video for a couple of seconds and try. Or don't stop the video actually because probably I will put this position as a smallest photo of the video. However, here Anand said what you want. You want my rock? Okay. We made an offer on this rock. And uh, if you capture, uh, uh, if you take a rock, you will take with it uh, a bishop. 
bishop to c5 a beautiful and so un, uh, unexpected move by anand now the idea here that if you touch that that rook example knight capture on f8 then bishop capture on d4 will be deadly now when you move your king uh, example king to h2 then queen to h4 will be deadly a threatening checkmate on the h2 square how will prevent this you cannot push g3 because there is a bishop on the b7 controlling the square also you cannot push h3 uh, i mean g3 uh, to make the uh, for the to for the queen to control that uh, square and you cannot push h3 because simply i can capture the pawn with the checkmate because as we said you cannot capture by the pawn because there is a bishop controlling that diagonal so for this reason here after bishop to c5 the best move here for the white is capturing the bishop but here after knight capture on c5 uh, attacking the bishop on the d3 twice now here of course you cannot move it uh, something like bishop to e2 doesn't work because queen to d4 will be deadly king to h1 and now knight to f2 i'm threatening checkmate now if you play something like king to g1 then knight to h3 comes check double check by the knight and also by the queen so you have to move your king king to h1 and now queen to g1 will be check and now after rook capture knight to f2 will be a checkmate so here um where at this position you have to capture uh, that uh, knight rook capture but now queen capture on f2 comes with a threat on uh, queen capture on g2 checkmate how to prevent this there is no way to prevent this the problem here if you play something like uh, queen to f3 or uh, something like queen back to d1 trying to prevent that checkmate i simply can capture by the bishop bishop capture on g2 and it will be a checkmate our uh, queen to f1 will be also a checkmate so for this season here after bishop to c5 uh, d cap sorry after d capture and knight capture uh, the the best move here for uh, the white is playing queen to e2 because now uh, if you play something like queen to d4 now you don't have knight to f2 because now my uh, my queen is controlling that square before here uh, as we said if bishop to e2 now uh, the queen doesn't control that square okay so uh, here the best move is uh, playing something like queen to e2 and now after knight cap knight queen to d4 check king to h1 knight capture on d3 comes uh, of course you cannot capture on the g4 because knight f2 knight knight to f2 check will be deadly you have to capture that uh, knight and after queen capture on f2 threatening checkmate you have to prevent this uh, queen uh, back to d1 and now simply king uh, capture on h7 and by this the black will be up and exchange so for this season here uh, where here uh, after yep here after bishop to c5 d capped uh, d capture on c5 was the best move but aronia missed that idea and aronia blundered here and he played bishop to e2 bishop to e2 aronia's idea is i'm attacking your knight also your bishop also your rook i will prevent all of these threats you cannot prevent this but anand said what you want you want my rook take it you want my bishop take it you want my this knight i will not give it to you knight d to e5 another unexpected move by anand the idea here if you capture uh, of course you cannot capture by the d because it's spinning with your king and if you capture by the f pawn and then queen capture on d4 will be the lead. king to h1 only move and now queen to g1 check king to f2 and now knight capture on so knight to f2 will be a checkmate so you cannot capture by the f you cannot capture by the d if you capture the bishop as we said the queen to d4 and uh, with a knight to f2 and here uh, for the season uh, aronian captured that uh, bishop on the g4 uh, sorry the knight knight capture on g4 bishop capture on d4 played by anand king to h1 and now knight capture on g4 if you want to take that rook just take it and aronian accepted that and he played knight capture on f8 but i mean instead that rook anand has so strong uh, i mean monsters on this diagonals wait a minute okay on this diagonals also if anand here could play queen to h4 then uh, i mean it will be deadly for the white and it will be such i mean the white immediately will lose the game because queen to h2 there is no way to prevent this threat but the problem here that queen to h4 doesn't work now because simply queen to h7 uh, will finish uh, all the blackest hopes because now uh, you have to exchange the queens and after queen capture knight capture and king capture uh, here king capture the white here will be up and exchange and this position is winning for the white now so here after um, where here after knight capture on f8 anand here first first played f5 not all queen to h7 and now the threat is 
queen to h4 and now and then queen to h2 checkmate knight back to g6 trying to preventing that threat uh, i mean moving away moving the knight away from the threat also controlling the h4 square but here simply queen to f6 attacking the controller of the h4 square h3 if you capture my queen i will capture your knight but here and simply capture this knight saying if you if you are a man capture that knight because you cannot capture it of course because queen to h7 or queen to h6 will be a checkmate so here uh, you cannot touch that knight a uh, queen to e2 played by anand trying uh, by aronian sorry trying to do something but here simply queen to h5 threatening queen to h3 you cannot ca threatening queen capture on h3 you cannot capture by the pawn because simply there is bishop controlling that diagonal queen to d3 trying to prevent in queen to h3 if you capture by the queen or recapture by the queen but here anand finished this game by a beautiful move pause the video for a couple of seconds and try to find what anand played at this position anand here simply played bishop back uh, to bishop to e3 bishop to e3 and it was at this position that Levon Aronian designed the game. Why well, he designed the game? Because now, uh, the now lo no longer uh, the queen control controlling the h3 square. So uh, now I'm threatening queen capture on h3 checkmate. How you prevent this? There is no way to prevent this threat. So for this season here, after this move, Aronian here simply resigned the game. And if you try to play something like rook uh, to f3, then I have this bishop capture on f3, and after pawn capture, queen capture on h3. Uh, will be a checkmate okay so for this season here after bishop to e3 where here after bishop to e3 aronian designed the game so yeah this is the game hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this game please don't forget us by the like and subscribe also you can check out my previous videos and see you in the next videos